And we are back playing EU4 multiplayer, this time for 24 hours. Why play EU4 MP for 24 hours? Straight? Well, how am I going to be like the cool trendy Hoi 4 players and complete a game in one sitting? Bruh, my name is Prize. My name is Soup. I'm a Call of Duty character. Or should I say reach 1700? in one sitting. This is this is the only thing we can do now. I don't think we're going to be playing this. game. This is the only thing we can do. Is there a mod to fix this? delete half the army. Delete your army. And what better nation to play in this 24 hour mental endurance test than playing Port Tunis? Why play Tunis, you might ask? Well, who has not wanted to be a pirate at one point in their life? No, not that kind of pirate. Definitely not that kind of pirate either. This kind of pirate. Just look how happy he is. As Tunis, we have the unique ability to raid coasts. Albeit our range to raid is not the best, but we get a huge influx of duckies every 10 years that we can use to better our nation. AKA conquer all our neighbors. And since we're playing modded EU4, we have revamped ideas that include five dev cost in primary culture, as well as some other really good bonuses. As well as a fully reworked mission tree that involves early game buildup and tall playstyle and mid game conquest. Thank you random modder from Summerkund. The Uzbeki EU4 community must be so proud of you. So we've consolidated, we're covered, we have borders. Here's player map mode by the way. Ethiopia, Yao, Portugal, Castile, Morocco, Sicily, Venice, Mamluks, those are all players near me. Milan, France. We have to follow this mission tree right here. We need to be producing six points of grain. Right now we're producing 2.4 monthly. Um, and we also need uh, we need 40 development on grain. This one right here, we need to have 40 in ovenness. That one's not going to be for a while. This one, we need 15 income, average minimum autonomy of under 15%. This one, we need Tunis to have five buildings and be 40 dev. This one, we need uh, a dock and six light ships. This one we have to have seven provinces with temples. Seven. So I think that'll be our next goal is build all of those seven. Hold up on selling titles because I do want to do a little bit of deving. And I don't want to dev until we hit golden age economic and we're waiting until we stack up points to do a golden age economic. That way we can min max this golden age as much as possible. We did two show strengths and now we're waiting for truce with this guy. Uh, once it's over, we'll feed this vassal and then we'll integrate both these vassals at the same time. Then we're going to just be focusing on building up. But Habibi, what about Morocco? Well, Morocco is my little, my little uh, Barbary Habibi bro. We're bros. You wouldn't get it. You have no friends. Okay, that was a little too mean. But what were we really doing? To a unique age bonus given to Morocco and Tunis in the Age of Discovery, we were able to raid the coasts of the two major powers in the east, the Mamluks and the Ottomans. Instead of using the money to conquer our neighbors, which were all pretty much stronger than us, we used it to build up and develop our arid lands into a beautiful desert utopia. If there's one thing EU4MP players all love, it's developing. Deving so much. I'm a great power! The 6GP! Me! Wait, does that let me be Africa? Oh, we got a name change. There we go. Yes, we are Africans! Africa! It gives doesn't give us new ideas. Does it give us new permanent modifier? Thanks to the institution, we were now the 6GP. We weren't that strong. As a matter of fact, we're still pretty much weaker than all of our neighbors except for Yao. But because of that, we were able to get a name change to our mission tree that literally just means Africa in Arabic. Yes, this small part of land is the entire continent of Africa. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So what now, my little Habibis? Yes, I'm calling you guys little Habibis. You can become a little Habibi by subscribing. I first want to mention that this Twitch stream that this campaign and YouTube video came from was a charity stream where if we reached $1,444, raised for the children of Gaza, I would shave my head bald. More information on that charity in the link in the description below. Did we get $1,400? Well, uh, if you watch the stream, you know. Our next step was to start our military buildup and prepare to attack our player neighbor in the south, Yao. 
This tag is weird because there's perfectly good and historic tags like Songhai in the region, but the mod maker decided Yao should be the playable slot in West Africa, while giving them Sokoto formable, which has basically Songhai ideas, but better. And since the Ottoman Mamluk war was going into a stalemate and I couldn't vulture that Egyptian lands, we had to opt to fight our neighbor in the south since he was the weakest player on our border. I also had to reach my player war quota of my Twitch stream since my Twitch chatters were getting pretty annoyed with just the AFK building up. How can you blame me for building up and developing when we have a dev cost modifier on all of our provinces? Meanwhile, our friend the player in Morocco was executing the next part of the Barbary Pirates plan. Our plan to raid the entire world. You have an obsession with Madagascar and it's not okay, dude. You have an obsession, Erling. <laughs> it's fine. It, it is AI and uh, the guy, the Ethiopia is very busy. Two Sicilies? There's two Sicilies? <sighs> Let's go, guys. First player war. Our plan in this war was to pass through the only traversable part of the Eastern Sahara, where we could go on the Fort of Dajado. Unsure of how powerful this Yao actually was, I popped my military golden era to get that additional boost in morale. Yao seemed like he had more units, but he was about to experience why playing in Africa is not always the best PvP experience. Oh, oh, oh. I just stack wipe 22k. I'm gonna stack wipe more. Oh, esports Alta! Dude, I hate <laughs> fighting in Africa. Hello. Just uh, FYI, th that's why I hate fighting Africa. Moving between the provinces take 30 years, dude. That's why you got stack wipe there. You probably wasn't used to that two movement. With we were able to siege the fort just before Yao's army got back and was able to fight us. We had a full point of morale higher than Yao and were able to easily win another battle. After sieging some land and scorching earth, we returned back to our home provinces to reinforce our troops faster. Allahu Akbar. What? Who's saying that? Oh, it's to your fight. Oh my God. What is going on in this game? Once fully reinforced, we went back to Yao to take the fight on his land. Winning more battles. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, not again. Another one. After those battles, Yao asked us to send peace, ending the war. I won. Oh, big, boy. big, 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 big. After the war with Yao, Morocco asked me to help him against the Iberians. All right, now we prepare for our Iberian War. Yep, Yao yep, yep. might, might backstab in the back because of what I did. Oh. They should go and war. Doesn't really way. matter. Just make a rampart against him. Make a rampart? Yeah. Now is the time to help Morocco reclaim Andalusia. There's only one appropriate song fitting for this war. I have a yeah, morale on this guy. We don't even need to reinforce, they're just just pairing. Just a 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 pairing. What is it doing? Oh no, Habibi. Pray! Pray! Yes. We won? Oh man, I thought we were about to get stack wiped. Yeah. Oh. No, we lost. Uh, okay. No, you're wrong. 
coming back. With 95 war score, peace was enforced on Castile. Another victory for the Berber Bros. But would that streak of victories continue? And were we potentially making too many enemies? Wait, what happened with Yao? The silly Indians didn't want to get raided anymore, so they declared war in Morocco. And I defended him and sent my entire navy to the Indian Ocean. While that was happening, Yao declared war on us with Ethiopia and Kilwa. We were able to stab hit out Janagar out of the war, but Castile declared war on Morocco. So I was forced to make a stab hit on Yao to annul his treaties with Ethiopia and Kilwa so I could destroy him once he bankrupts. Unfortunately this meant that Morocco had to give back his lands in Iberia to Castile, but we could always declare for them later. The Berber Bros coming out on top, there is now a new focus in the north. State. You're too big. We have to make you smaller first. That flea is a little strong, Habib. I don't know about that. <laughs> the Eurocratic state of two Sicilies had just lost a war against Venice and was trying to recover. Meanwhile, his navy was getting bigger and he was starting to taunt us in the Mediterranean. In the Middle East, Persia is getting incredibly strong as the Ottomans had fell to a coalition of Egypt, Hungary, and Persia, while Mamluks formed Egypt. After those strings of very hard wars, we were paying off a lot of debt. We had the question though, after we finished our debt paying, where else could we expand? Yeah, I, I need more land. Yeah, I'm yeah. a broken man, dude. You'll get more revanchism. You're at zero now. That's not good. Revanchism <laughs> is good. I'm a great hobby. I can fight That's you. That's not a good thing. You can fight me? <laughs> I'm strict. Look, Sylvia, look at your border. Look Kid, at it. Kid. Hold on. What are you doing? Oh, oh my lord. Look. I just want my cool. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> was promised. Are you afraid? Are you afraid, Yao? Look, I'm putting oh, more yeah. troops on the border. I'm giving you revanchism. I'm giving you He's a good <laughs> guy. You will not understand. I'm giving you revanchism, dude. It gives IPA, so you know. <laughs> I'm the good guy here. But yeah, as a, as you were saying, I I hate dogs. <laughs> I have to release the Ashanti. No. I have to do you. something to you. I will fight you to the death on the beaches on your mother's grave. What? Boy breath. What? Boy breath. Don't do it, Javi. Don't do Smaller. it. Come on, Javi. He's just a small bean, guys. Just a small bean. This friends has it's okay. seen you can, you can die to go to sleep. It's okay. In game. <laughs> you can you can also do that. I don't know. It's like something. Oh, I might be kind of Oh my god, good. No, I'm not. I just want five provinces. Okay. Oh my lord. Okay. Just... Oh, getting this my general died as soon as I decked. Did you see that? That's good. Did you see that? Deserve, he but... died on the front line, looking at you. In all of those wars, even though they were all against Turtles. I don't think 
I don't think it's a good idea. Like, a baby. He didn't attack me. He attacked a baby. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh dog, you're baiting. Hey, dude, kill us a player. Kill us a new player. Yao, who has yeah, the he also, he got yeah, his, uh, you can have the player probably too. I still decides to end. That's so the best about, stuff. So how about, how about, um, you see... Okay, uh, this is Why good. We're gonna good. fight a funny this war will, if you like. Still our friendship forever. He promised, and he, he promised Kiva as well, like that. Stuff. Oh, you cut me off though. I don't want to be cut off. It's fine. I can colonize it. He he said said it was yeah, fine. you can colonize. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you can colonize. Yeah, then he While I was fighting Yao, I got declared war on by the two Sicilies, and he was pretty much just navally trolling. We had no idea what exactly he wanted, but it was time to fight him. I have to mobilize the navy, dude. Strong. Why is Ruling going into India? <laughs> no one wants to play VJ or Bengal. Just let other players eat it. Let them contest you. It's okay. Oh, let me, let me it's not here. about <laughs> contesting or not, Habibi, bro. Why? Why? I mean, Why? I, I, I what is it about? What is it about? Like, I was what playing Portugal and you... You attack <laughs> like you allied every single person I was fighting. What do you mean? I allied Ethiopia and, and was my ally whole oh, game. No. Was protecting him whole me. game. What are you doing? No, and why are you attacking VJ, me? you just decked him when I when I fought him. Like he had nothing. Like why would you just do stuff like that? I, t I told don't him need more I'll... land, bro. Just chill. Yes. Why do they? So he's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing <laughs> like <he's here. laughs> <laughs> You like that? Oh, we have way more engagement with. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go! It might be worthwhile having a cat. Oh, yeah, it might be worthwhile having a cat right now, right? This is the most, this is the most excitement I've had in my entire life. You know what's happening right now? Naval battle. Naval battle. Fish sandwiches. Where is his admiral? It died in the battle. I sh killed him myself. Mm -hmm. I go, I Do I wipe Kiba's army? Do I be joining his army? The two Sicilies navies defeated. We were able to get back our island and also win the war and get our claims on Sardinia and Majorca. Well, we've been paid off our debt. Been building buildings. I have a free merchant. I know. I don't have a good spot for him. We put it inside Genoa. Milan will pull out of Barbary Coast. Meanwhile, Morocco was able to successfully win a one versus one against Spain, reclaiming those lands that he lost in the war when we were fighting Giao. However, now that we had those islands, we can move our capital to Europe and join the League War. However, when the League War fired, the Europeans did not want to have a fun League War and it ended very quickly in the favor of Brandenburg. I, I thought we were gonna have an epic league war. I didn't even get maybe, to leave my island. Maybe he also uh, got to I didn't even get to leave. What the fuck? But in a move that caught me and everyone off guard, Yao declared war on us. Malibu. So, Sylvia, are you trying to go to sleep or what? Kill it. Um, you can kill me if you want. Or you can try. I do want. I will want. try. This will be your downfall. Yao. I stabbed first, though. Yeah, you've lived for I, I just too long. Get my formable. <laughs> oh my god, discipline event? No, oh, we don't, have, we don't have discipline event. Like I'm trying to fire it though. Why are they so sad? You're never gonna get to my capital, Javi. Wait, where is your capital? <laughs> no! <laughs> where is my capital? <laughs> I told you he was scheming. No, I can't get there. I can get there, <laughs> chat. Get there. I can't get there. Oh no. Despite Yao going heavily over force limit, at this point, we were much stronger than him. You might be wondering, Habibi, why didn't you just kill this Yao earlier? Well, 24 hour games kind of work differently than normal EU4 games, where after some point, people stop really tryharding, and it's more about having a good time and just lasting the entire 24 hours. And I was willing to let the Yao live, however, the Yao player wanted to either kill us in Africa or go to sleep which is understandable as we were now 14 hours into our MP game. Since we built a huge navy to deal with this two Sicilies, we were able to easily beat the Yao's navy and get to his islands on the Azores. This capital occupied and a bunch of battles won, 
we were able to get peace after he unconditionally surrendered to us. Salih is still a player. And it's a fortress. He's made it a fortress. He should upgrade his forts, though. He has a level 2 right here. Sicily, this is your last warning. Do yeah, one okay, troll thing, and we may declare war on you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I promise I'll behave. I'll La behave. I'll he last warning. May. He said may declare war. Oh, actually, maybe. Maybe. Try. Yes, try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. You can live on the edge. Maybe, that's, maybe I'm trying to make you deck, so I can, you can take your juicy edge. 30 dev lands. And with Yao dead, we were actually becoming quite strong. Fourth great power strong. And then now we were looking to our east to continue our expansion. It was time to put another player to bed. Oh look, another war where we fight on one tile and move on one tile over and over and over again. Tunis is such a great and interactive nation, guys. Jokes aside, this Egypt's army was actually quite big. But where he had more quantity, our quality was better. After winning the first couple of battles, we continued our push east towards mainland Egypt. But again, every battle that we won or lost was just another movement to another one tile. Eventually, with time, we overwhelmed Egypt by taking battle after battle until we won the war. We're now expanding pretty far down south and even going to old Congo lands. Our name is now becoming quite accurate. One billion as early as 1650, <laughs> while fighting wars that consistently results in millions dead on both sides. How is that possible? In EU4, there is a mechanic where you feed your citizens animal feed. It's called admin mana. Although not realistic, it helps to make the game more fun. <laughs> as this was a 24 hour lobby, as the game progressed, it just got goofier and goofier. Like this really crazy Venice snake all the way into Siberia. Speaking of goofy, the Venice player and the Sicily player decided now was a good time to attack me at the same time. Of course, we were stronger than them individually, but with Sicily having a massive navy and Venice having a massive army, they were able to land in Egypt. Oh look, another war where I'm fighting on one tile. Although we were kind of getting memed here by the Italians, it was quite important that I won, as my objective right now was to form the Mamluks. Actually, really easy to form the Mamluks, as all you need to do is be in Icta and get the province of Cairo. Once we defeated them in Alexandria, Venice's entire army was trapped in Egypt. And accept the peace deal. And because of Venice, we were able to eat up a lot of northern Egypt and get closer to getting our objective of forming the Mamluks. Why form Mamluks? Well, it wasn't for the ideas. As a matter of fact, I preferred to keep my old Tunisian ideas in this game. The main reason was to get a new mission tree, as we had completed our Tunis mission tree, and through the Mamluks mission tree, we were able to get a lot of bonuses that increased our economy, as well as buffing our navy and military. Through this mission tree, we were able to get up to 100 mercantilism, get a lot of trade power in Alexandria, get cloves in Cairo, and get unique estates, and a unique government. We had the option to form Egypt, which could give us Western unit pips. However, we would have to take the Egyptian ideas, which are better economical ideas, but not better militaristic ideas. We also retained the ability to continue raiding coasts, which we continued to do, as we were raiding the entirety of Africa, India, and most of Europe. It was also in this time that the Andalusians needed our help against Italy, who was incredibly powerful at this point, which somehow brought in two Sicilies into this war, but because two Sicilies was in this war, it was time to put another player to bed. And to finish off this campaign, we had one last massive world war, which had a siding with revolutionary Iran versus the entirety of all of Europe. Is it revolutionary Iran or is it Italy? Real talk, why are the revolutionary flags so cursed in this game? 
nothing really interesting happened here. There could probably be a whole video just on this last war in terms of hours and gameplay fought as it was like a two hour long war. I'm not going to really include it in this video as the story really ends here. Here's a screenshot to show you how many people died in this war. Ivy dude. I still didn't getting get my trolled down. all game by Sicily. <laughs> good, good. Uh, Where's the scandal? Fighting for my life multiple times. Dude. Imagine <laughs> picking. Oh, okay, so we did manage to run fucking Iraq out of Prof. I guess he full mercs. Uh, 414 mercs. Fuck me. <laughs> In the end, we didn't reach our charity goal and I got to keep my hair, but I'm still super proud of this community and I do want to make it a habit to keep doing charity events at least once a year to give back to other people in need. Of course, this was a charity that was picked by the community, so if you would like to see me uh, get involved in other charities, get involved in my community on my Discord and on my Twitch. Of course, you can see more information on the charity that we donated to in the description and in the pinned comment. Well, it was a great charity event. Even if we didn't reach the goal, I'm kind of glad I kept my hair and didn't have to raise, shave my head. Well, we're good. I just closed the game, Pogba. I'm out, dude. It's been 24 hours and 11 minutes. See you guys on... Tuesday. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was a lot of fun streaming this. It was really hard editing this as it was 24 hours of footage and there wasn't really a major storyline in this game as I was just playing and after the halfway mark, I kinda was delusional. But that's what happens in these 24 hour lobbies. Thank you so much my patrons, GigaChad, Chogus, RVR, Mason and Druska, Hardbam, Feels, Dejex, Zorovia, Will, Fabulous Snail, Beyond, Tonics, Cole Carp, Endless Knight, Johan Askeland, Deshaun Moore, Trevor Kosman, Nexus, Lawfer, Joss Voriad, and Dion Mason. Thank you so much for directly supporting this channel, guys. And if you would like to directly support this channel, you can by joining my patron. You get sick benefits, such as getting my saves, like this one, which will be uploaded once this video is uploaded on YouTube, as well as getting things like getting my Steam uh, friendship, as well as getting into our games with high priority. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video, coming very soon.